Apple's next big product, Apple Glasses. Rumors surrounding Apple's AR glasses have been circulating throughout the tech world for years. Despite such speculations spanning over a period that feels like a lifetime, it seems that we might be finally on the cusp of Apple's next big product release. A recent leak has revealed the most in-depth look to date at Apple's potential wearable AR device. Although the majority of leaks should be taken with a pinch of salt in current times, these have come from a highly respected and credible source, so here's what we know so far. Apple's AR glasses will be known simply as Apple Glass, which is a rather fitting title given the Apple Watch. However, this name is incredibly reminiscent of Google Glass, which was Google's attempt at a similar device. Apple Glass is said to be the final name for the glasses, however, I wouldn't put it past Apple to change the label last minute. Eyeglass would be especially in line with the brand and might make more sense when we look at how the glasses will operate, but we'll get to that later in the video. Design-wise, Apple Glass, which is what we will label them for the time being, is expected to be as sleek and stylish as any other offering from the tech giant. Leet prototypes look very much like a traditional pair of glasses, friendly and approachable as opposed to overly futuristic in an attempt to really appeal to the masses. Prototypes are being manufactured in black and white plastic, although this material is likely to be swapped out for something more premium such as aluminium or some sort of composite as we near closer towards production. It's also a possibility that Apple will offer multiple frame materials for buyers to choose from, similar to what is offered with the Apple Watch in the form of different straps. All of the house tech will fit seamlessly into the frames of Apple Glass, with the most notable being the LiDAR sensor, which will sit atop the right-hand side of the glasses. For those of you who are not familiar, LiDAR, at the most basic level, is a system that can 3D map an environment by calculating the distance between different points. The LiDAR found inside of Apple's latest products gives us a great look as to what we can expect to find inside the first gen of Apple Glass. Advanced LiDAR technology will make using Apple Glass AR a breeze, with no need to scan your environment before placing objects, measuring or virtually visualizing, making for seamless interactions between the wearer and their surroundings. LiDAR will also take care of things like reading hand gestures and translating QR codes into three-dimensional images. On the latest iPad Pro, the LiDAR scanner and pair of cameras work hand in hand. However, Apple Glass is not expected to house any camera or photographic features. The general thinking behind this is that people will take negatively to talking face-to-face -to -face with someone wearing a face-mounted camera that may or may not be recording. This is something that I can certainly relate to. However, I can't help but imagine how cool it would be to have an eye-level camera that can record what you see whenever you please. Some are saying that cameras might start to make their way onto the Apple Glass as they become more popular and widely accepted, but this is strictly speculation, so only time will tell. Charging of the batteries of the Apple Glass is said to happen through the use of a designated charging stand or through the use of a wireless charging case. Both would be a suitable companion to the glasses, and seeing as the first models are expected to have a battery life on the shorter side, having a convenient charging dock or carry case would be a much welcomed addition. In regards to audio, Apple Glass is not expected to have any built-in speakers or headphones. Apple's recent developments with their must-have AirPod Pros suggest that their converted wireless in-ear headphones would instead be pushed as part of the experience. This might seem as if Apple is doing all they can to snag an extra product sale. However, including any kind of built-in headphone will most definitely ruin the everyday wearable design, not to mention add unnecessary weight to the product. Now getting to the important bits, you might be wondering how the glasses are actually going to function. The majority of data processing is said to take place on a partnered iPhone, which will not only reduce the physical footprint of the glasses, but will also significantly reduce their cost overall. To facilitate this, we're expected to see some sort of short-range Wi-Fi capability to be built into the iPhone 12 and future iPhones thereafter. Older devices will likely be supported as well, but are predicted to offer limited capabilities or reduced performance. As technology improves over time, we may eventually see all processing take place independently within the glasses, but this will probably take a few versions as it did with the Apple Watch. Despite a few people being hands-on with the Apple Glass prototypes, there is very little known about the glasses' user interface. What we do know is that Starboard is supposedly going to be the interface's name, which is not all that different from iOS's Springboard UI. What most are expecting to see is a slimmed-down version of the basic iOS that we are all familiar with, again, somewhat reminiscent of what we can see on Apple Watch, but with physical interactions being replaced with hand gestures and voice command. A massive feature that is incredibly exciting is that Apple Glass is expected to be released with embedded displays in each lens, as opposed to projected ones that were seen in Google Glass. The result of this should amount to far crisper visuals and a more immersive experience overall. The display is also said to only be visible to the wearer and will be completely invisible to any outside viewers. Now, I'm sure that you're all wondering how much a pair of these AR glasses are going to cost, so let me put you out of your misery and tell you that it's probably a lot less than you might think. 
The first gen Apple Glass is set to retail at a rather reasonable price of just $499, excluding the price of optional prescription lenses. This is still a premium for a device that relies heavily upon another much more expensive device, but it's still low enough to be widely adopted and to gain traction as a popular mainstream purchase. Apple has had very little to say about Apple Glass as a whole, so speculation surrounding its release date is to be expected. Whilst we may finally be given an official announcement by Apple introducing Apple Glass as early as this year, it's highly likely that we won't see them available to purchase until Q4 2021 at the earliest and may even stretch into 2022.